All right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> Want to start off by saying Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Call Halalai Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret Bless Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect, scattered abroad, teaching His word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. <clears throat> all right, excuse me. Still a little bit under the weather, so my voice is a little different, I guess. But anyway, hopefully, Lord willing, the Lord allowed me to edify. And um, I wanted to put out uh, this this lesson here, which, um, you know, I wanted to, you know, just basically, you know, let brothers know that, <clears throat> you know, we are in a time where we should be praying more. You know, if you haven't been praying the way you're supposed to, you should start praying now because, you know, the Lord is manifesting. You know, he's showing you, you know, the devil in his horns. He's showing you that this this devil is uh, ramping up things by uh, by his attack on the Hebrew Israelites. All right. Which which we always prophesied about. Start with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. OK. And we told you about Jacob's trouble. We told you, you know, that the persecution will come, you know, and right now we're seeing a good glimpse of it and things are ramping up. You know, they're setting the stage. All right. And, um, you know, we're being um, uh, demonized. OK, so this right here is Psalms, the seventh chapter. Shagayan of David. All right, and I had to, actually had to look that up, and um, this is what I came to. Shagayan. It says, um, "To rail about through drink," occurs in the title of Psalm seven. The plural form Shagayanuf is found in Habakkuk three and one. The word denotes a lyric poem, a lyrical poem composed under strong mental emotion. You know, because, you know, David was going through it. You know, it says a song of impassioned imagination accompanied with suitable music. Okay, suitable music. So when David was singing his song, it was uh, done with instruments behind it. You know, it was, you know, he was probably drinking yan yan and he was pouring out his spirit. And it says here at the bottom. A song of trouble or comfort. A song of trouble or comfort. And maybe I'll title the video, you know, after that. <clears throat> All right, so let me get back uh, to here. It says, Shaik, uh, Shagayan of David, which he sang unto the Lord, Yahweh, concerning the words of Cush the Benjaminite. Concerning the words of Cush, the Benjamin, the Benjaminite, it says, O Lord, Yahweh of my power, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. You know, and this is the, the spirit in which, you know, we should be praying unto the Lord for because we see it. You know, now I must say this because of certain videos I saw and I just stated for the record, you know. Using wisdom is not being scared. Let me say that again. Using the Lord's wisdom is not being scared. Okay? It's a thing called wisdom. You know, the Lord allowed us to use it. That's a part of this truth. The knowledge, the understanding, and the wisdom. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay? Which the scriptures say, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability. Of that time. So what's going to keep us stable? Wisdom. Okay. And wisdom in what? Knowing the knowledge. Knowing the knowledge is this truth. Okay. Knowing the scriptures. All right. O Lord, my God, <clears throat> in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. All right. Just like, let me get my charger.
right? It says, save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Least he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces while there is none to deliver. You know, because at the end of the day, hey, we're looking to see salvation, man. We want to live. So, you know, even when you are being put to death for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you still live. Okay. You know, but we're asking the Lord, you know, fight, fight for me against my enemy. You know, you know, right now, like I said, you know, we supposed to be in a time, you know, right now is the time not say supposed to be so like it. But right now we're in the time that you should be praying more, you know, fasting more, being more spiritual, examining yourself to see whether you are in this truth, being more sincere, you know, studying if you may. OK, it says, least he tear my soul like a lion, render it in pieces. Wow, there is none to deliver. O oh Lord, my God, Yahweh, if I have done this, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is my enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust. Shalah. Because this is, you know, a righteous man and his sincere spirit. What he's showing is sincerity, man. Okay, sincerity in which, you know, he's asking the Lord to, hey, examine me. You know, look at me. And, and if I've done wrong, then I should be punished. But if I've done right, you know, save me, deliver me, man. All right. And notice, you know, I'm probably not... <clears throat> you know, the passion behind this songs. I know it was very deep when it was sung. Because we read, okay, that Shigon of David was a song of trouble or comfort, man. You know, it was a song, it was a song being sung with music and drinks, you know, with, with wine in the you know in the system. And he was very compassionate and probably blowing the roof off, man. You know, singing this song, man. You know, I'm just not in a, that type of spirit. So like you, you know, to uh, make it more passionate, maybe. But I hope this lesson will be edifying, man, to point it, to get to put it out there for brothers. You know. Um. It says, uh, let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust shall I. <coughs> Arise, O Lord, in thy anger, lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded, you know, so shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sakes. Therefore, return thou on high. All right. And, um, you know, you have in this time we're living, you know, you have to be strong minded, man. And uh, how are you strong, strong in the mind is through the spirit and power of the Lord, man, because uh, these Edomites are demonizing brothers. OK. And um, I just want to get the word demonize. Let's look that up real quick. OK, demonize. Demonize. Portray as wicked or and threatening. So there Esau is trying to portray us as being wicked when he's the one that's wicked. All right. He's the one that's wicked. And he's trying to portray us as we're threatening, you know, in a violent carnal manner, you know, in a carnal, violent manner. And we're not. We're spiritual men. OK. And that would be, you know, if he can demonize us and be successful at it he has a right to persecute you know but guess what what did they do to Yahweh Shai they did the same thing they demonized them they persecuted them and eventually he went up on the cross and he gave his life for for the children of Israel in particular the elect so the Lord said all ourselves likewise all right we that live in Yahweh Shai shall suffer in Yahweh Shai all right. And as we suffer in Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai is glorified, we shall be glorified in Yahweh Shai. 
So that's why I tell you, you know, this is the time you should be praying more. Stop what you're doing, you know, and pray. Seek the Lord, man. You know, if you haven't been doing it already, fast, you know, and, and uh, be more in the spirit. Be more in that frequency of uh, the, the Holy Spirit, the Rakakodash. Okay? Because Esau is a is a is a is a demon out to devour and demonize brothers, you know, and, and the thing is you want to be found blameless, man. You want to be found blameless in the eyes of the Lord. This is why, you know, you know, this this song here and what the brother is uh is uh saying in his songs, okay, is uh he wanna be found blameless in the eyes of the Lord. Okay? Let me read again. I'm gonna read up some and read back down. He says, if I, re if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, right? Yea, I have delivered him that without cause is my enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let, the, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust, Shalah. You know, being blameless toward the Lord, you can make these words. You can say these words to the Lord because you know your sincerity and you know what you have done. You know, but a wicked man couldn't say these things to the Most High. Matter of fact, the scriptures say the Most High is not in all their thoughts. Okay. Hey, it says the wicked shall never understand, but a righteous man will. All right. So this is verse six again. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, in thy anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies. And Esau is raging right now. You know, he's ready to be violent, fulfilling Revelations uh, 12 chapter. You know, 12, what's that, 10 and going all the way down. You know, the accuser of thy brethren. Then it gets into the 12 verse, 12 and 12. He cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So he's in rage. You know, he's in rage for because the men of the Lord are out teaching his truth throughout the four corners. So he's in rage, man. You better believe it. He's storming right, right now, man. His face is red, man. Okay. You know, and he wants something done. You know, so and what he wants done is the men of the Lord killed, man. Let me just tell it real. He want the brothers dead, man. All right. So it says, arise, O Lord, in thy anger, lift up thyself before, lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies and awake for me to the judgment that thou has commanded. You know, we're asking the Lord to come quickly, man, to awake unto us. All right. Because. You know, who, who else is for the Lord? Not these Edomites, not these other nations, you know, not two thirds of our people that are caught up in these government churches. Awake. Oh, it says and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sake. Therefore, return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. <coughs> judge me. O oh Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. You know, and that word integrity is a, a, a beautiful trait to have. You know, it shows your love for the Lord, you know, and you want to hold that integrity to the end. You know, like endurance. Scriptures say that he that uh, endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So this is the word integrity. And it says uh, completeness. Completeness, fullness, innocence, simplicity, integrity. Mm. See? Upright. We want to be upright. Man, we want to be blameless in the eyes of the Lord. The hell with what these people think out here and what they're going to say about us. Because we, we know what we are. The Lord knows what we are and what we have done. You know? This is why I say this is the time if you, you know, to be more in prayer. Be more in the spirit, man. You know, meditating and, and being more spiritual, man, being more vigilant, you know, uh, scriptures say uh, circumspect, you know, these are the things being more in a serious mindset, you know, because hey, Esau may let this little thing die down in Jersey City. And then next thing you know, you find out it's a fucking shooting somewhere else and they blaming it on us, you know, sometime down the pipe, you know, because Jake tend to. You know, oh, they ain't doing nothing. That wasn't nothing. And then die down. Jake, Jake, uh, forget quick. The Lord is warning us by Esau's uh, uh, actions, man. 
He's warning us. He's preparing us, man. It says, um, <clears throat> perfect, perfection, all right? Innocence, full integrity, perfect, perfection, right, upright. You got it, man. Integrity, man. So let me read that again. <clears throat> and according to my integrity that is in me, and the, the whole four elect, they have integrity. All right. They willing to uh, die in this truth, man. All right. But for righteously, you know, it's another thing, man. Uh, follow, follow great men, follow great men, men that lead an example, men that, that, that have experience, you know, follow the men that that's teaching the scriptures, a hundred percent truth, you know, follow the men that's prophesizing and doing the will of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay. Because a lot of men, you know, just say it, you got a lot of Israelites out there, different camps, you know. Not everybody's the elect, you know, that's why we in this race and hoping that we are the elect by by being sincere in the Lord and doing this work, you know, but you got men that will suffer, you know, for being wicked and they think that they're suffering for being righteous, you know, because they do a lot of stupid shit. But, you know, this is why the scriptures say in the Apocrypha, uh, don't worry how I'm going to roughly paraphrase. Uh, don't worry how the ungodly is punished, but worry how, but, but, uh, worry how the godly is saved. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> this is, uh, let's see. What was that? Okay. Verse nine. Oh, let the wicked of the wicked. Oh, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous power. Trieth the hearts and rends, and you better believe it. The Lord is tries he trieth the righteous, man. Okay, and and the righteous is going through that fire now, you know. So the Lord, you know, we pray to the Lord and say, you know, Lord, establish the just. Right now, there is no justice, there is no peace. You know, your so-called leaders today, your rappers and entertainers, that's your leaders. They're not right. They're not right. They're, they're going to lead you to destruction. Matter of fact, they're going to keep making money off of you being asleep, man, by you continuing to, you know, uh, live your life in this uh, system that Esau designed, you know, that you on the bottom and he at the top and he could do whatever he want to you. You know, there is a higher power. There is the most high, man. There is his son, Yahweh Shai. You know, you Edomites, you know, you may have the power to kill and the power of the sword, but the Most High got the power to take you out as well, you know. As a matter of fact, the scriptures prophesy that you're going to go into captivity. So anyway, it says, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and rends. So the Most High trieth us, man. He looks within the inward part. It says, my defense is of the Most High, which saveth the upright in heart. So your mind should be in the upright of heart. You should got to, you know, examine yourself, man, you know. Don't start falling, drifting to the left. You know, you want to move toward the right. You want to be balanced. You know, it says my defense is of the most high, which saveth the upright in heart. The most high judges the righteous and the most high is angry with the wicked every day. All right. So the Lord is not for America. The Lord is not American and he's not for America. Okay, what's that? Amos 9 and 8. He said, "My the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. And that sinful kingdom is talking about this place in which you call Bab uh, what you call America, which is known as Babylon the Great. This is the most sinfulest, pla sinfulest land on the planet, man. Okay, ruled by the Edomites. So the Lord said, he judges the righteous and the most high is angry with the wicked every day. So there's not a day that don't go by that the Lord is not angry with you Edomites, okay, with two-thirds of his people. Every day the Lord is angry with the wicked, man. It says, if he turn not, he will wet his sword. He have bent his bow and made it ready. He have also prepared for him the instruments of death. He obtaineth his, his arrows against the persecutor. It says, Behold, he travaileth it with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought false 
and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own plate. So at the end of the day, you Edomites, after your violence is done, fulfilling prophecy, the Lord is going to come down upon you. You know, I can't wait for that great day, that great day when silence, when every heart shall melt. When everyone is turning and facing the east and looking up and that cry and that cloud, excuse me, and the sky is cracked <laughs> and the sky will crack. All right. With a with a with many chariots of the Lord and the and what we call the fellowship, which is the, the bigger chariot than all which Yahweh Shai is coming, coming back. And that's when everything stops, man. OK, everybody realize that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is here to reign supreme over the earth. You know, <clears throat> his mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealings shall come down upon his own plate. I will praise the Lord Yahweh according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Yahweh Most High. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Barakatah. You know, because that day is coming, man. And we're, we're here. We're here, man. You know. These are the last few days. You know, you can't bring back yesterday. You only could do it through a camcorder, but you can't redo it. You can't redo yesterday, you know. So, you know, we're headed toward the kingdom. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, pray, 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 pray. Be more spiritual, you know, use wisdom. Be circumspect, be more vigilant, you know, be a better watchman. You know, focus. If you wasn't focused, going 100%, you was only going 75. Now it's time to go 100, you know. It's just telling the truth, man. Ain't no time to slack and fall back. It's time to put your boots on with your staff and stand up and be ready to and be ready to go. You know, be ready to go, man. You know, the scriptures say, uh, yeah, what's that in Peter? Uh, uh. Salakia, let me see if I can get it. Um, like a second Peter's three. Is it man or person? Let me see here. Oh, here we go. Yep, yep. Uh, second Peter's three and eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all in all holy conversation and godliness? Here's the point. Looking for and hasting. Unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So the point there that I wanted to emphasize on is hasting. Hasting, man. Hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord. <clears throat> to make haste earnestly, to desire earnestly. Okay. Make haste, speed, <laughs> urgent, on diligently, all right? Make haste, eagerly, you know? We want the Lord to come, man. Looking forward and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, you know? So they're not in the time to be comfortable, you know? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom. <clears throat>